and that's the one thing I love about Dion, and, and that's why he works so well in college football. He is a master orator. He is a motivational speaker, and that's what you need as a college football coach. That's that's all. Yeah, I think the the game planning and the, the actual football knowledge. I won't say it's secondary, but it gets eclipsed by just the personality of the football coach. And mm-hmm. I think he has a personality down pat. Um, you know, uh, he he has a great social media team, so everything he says and does has been all over social media. And um, his his pregame speeches, his practice speeches. Will uh will live on far beyond this football season. <laughs> um, so yeah, leading into his game, he uh he said he took it personal. He ra- he rallied his team, and it was a great game. Honestly, the game was a lot closer than a lot of people thought it was going to be. Colorado, I think, were the favorite to blow this team out, and throughout the game, it was close. It was it was close. Colorado State was playing really good, um, playing dirty to some degree. A lot of late hits. Um, I think they had ten personal fouls. Which is kind of crazy in a, in a, in a um, college football game. Um, it went to overtime. Um, Deion's son is, is the quarterback. Uh, also, my Heisman favorite. I put money on it. Looking forward to this. <laughs> um, and he just he, he put the team on his on his back. He said, like he said in his post game with his AP and his his his, his uh, Cuban his, his diamond Cuban. On. Oh, he was the one flexing to watch. Yes, yes, that's that's his, that's Deion's uh, youngest son, I believe. His name is. Uh, Sh- Shooter, shooter, shooter. Um, he said he went Brady mode, and <laughs> yo, he he literally put the team on his back, and this shit was amazing, yo. Like he literally, um, their their star wide receiver got injured. He's out for four weeks. He got hit on a late hit, and he had like a lacerated. Um, I think he broke a rib, and then they said he had a, a lacerated liver, which is crazy to, to read. What the <laughs> so hell? God damn. Yeah, he's out for four weeks. Um, but this kid Sanders, man, he he's Throwing bombs, dropping dimes. Um, he's really a team leader. Looking forward to just his draft ranking and just where he goes. I can see him being the number one quarterback in his next draft. Um, but yeah, man, they came back and won the game in overtime. I, you know, in LA, I think the game ended around like it might be like nine thirty, ten. Like people mm. watch this game to one o'clock on the East Coast, and like people are tuned in for a mm. Colorado Colorado State game. <laughs> like this is unheard of. So shout out to Coach Prime, man. I love these bringing to the game. Um, I think it's just it's bringing a new energy, um, especially just amongst the black community. Like if yeah. you look at the sideline in the game, it's a, like someone said, or the announcer said, it looked like the BET Awards. <laughs> and was that probably a, was, somebody black said that. I hope it was somebody yeah. black that said that. Probably, Okay, there you he go. Actually, he was actually getting off too, man, because he, he said. <laughs> He said, look at the BET Awards. He made a uh, like there was a penalty that there was two penalties on the play. He said an offset. And then they <laughs> stand the camera, the offset on the sideline when he said that. That's so stupid. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was like it was just a lot of energy around the game, and like you gotta understand, it's college, so they got a pep rally at seven a.m. Seven a.m. pep rally. Lil Wayne is performing, getting mm. gifted a, a Lil Wayne Colorado jersey by by Coach Prime at the pep rally. You got offset there. You got Key Glock there. You got Master P there. Cameron, um, you know. Uh, it's just so many different people of the culture just at the games, just to experience this. And, and you know, in college, is a little more lax. So you got, you got, you got these celebrities on the field, on the sideline. Like, mm-hmm. I literally, I, I, you couldn't miss. You mentioned um, Offset and the, the Cotton Reefs, or the, the orange or the yellow. You couldn't miss him on the, on the field during the game. You, you could see him just on the sideline if you looked at the field. So um, it's dope, man. I love the energy he's bringing. Um, it's exciting, man. I think. Uh, we needed this. The sport needed this. And, um, mm. you know, I hope we, he has continued success. Um, I also have a bet in for them to win the Pac-12. So so hopefully he keeps winning. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see. Next week they got uh, Oregon. Week after that they got USC. I plan on going to that game. It's going to be in Boulder. So, oh, you're going? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm looking. I'm looking oh, it's in Boulder. Oh, yeah, it's, it's in Boulder. Boulder. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's in Boulder. I want to go to Boulder. If people, if you know me, if you've ever heard me speak about my retirement plan and just my aspirations in life, I love the city of Boulder. Um, I had some people on my Instagram hit me up today like, yo, you always show Colorado so much love. And like, I do just because like when I went there on tour, that was like one of the, I mean, when I went on my first tour, that was just one of the seasons, one of the first seasons I fell in love with. Um, mm. I had a great time. We went out there at Mac Miller, had a great time when I went back, made some good connections and just lifelong friendships with people out there. Um, so yeah, man, I'm, I'm a Boulder fan. I was there before Coach Prime. Hopefully, 
they recognize me and bring me on the field. But um, but yeah, I'm planning on going to Boulder for the USC game or the USC game, and um, I'll definitely be in black and gold. <laughs> are you gonna have any? Uh, are you gonna have? Uh, did you ever tell the story of what happens uh, the last time that you were around some Nuggets fans? Oh no, I didn't tell that story. Um, <laughs> Shout out to the Nuggets, man. Yeah, yeah, I went out there. Yeah, yeah, whooped our ass. So I can't. Even, no I, shout out to the Nuggets. I can't even be mad, man, because I, I went out there thinking out the Lakers was gonna get this W, and y'all showed me out. But y'all know, y'all, y'all ain't got seventeen of these, so, so it is what it is. I was a little bit upset because now it's probably the video is probably like almost at three million views by now. Probably like two, three million views by now. The first time that we have seen this man in the past couple of months is him showing up to a damn Colorado game. Rock, I'm pretty fucking upset with you. If there's some way that you have heard this in, in any form or manner, just know that I am one of your biggest fucking fans and I am pretty damn upset with you because I would have loved if that moment of an arena completely ringing out was out in SoFi Stadium and you chose Colorado. And as a Heat fan, I know you are a Heat fan, Rock. You're choosing the Nuggets over the Heat. I'm pretty fucking upset about that. Well, I, I won't say all that. Did you pop out at a, a WWE event recently? No? This was it. This, it was this week. He was in Colorado oh. to to yeah. He was in Colorado for the game. I was like, ah, let me pop up to. I forgot what. I, I don't know. I, I mean, were they in the Nuggets Arena for Friday's not Friday Night SmackDown? I can't remember if, they, they, if that was the Nuggets Arena. But he showed up, and it was a huge, huge event. He said it was a top five pop in his entire damn career, and I can agree with that. Colorado was fucking loud for that return oh. because people are so excited to see him. But I'm just upset because he chose Colorado Rock, and I don't oh. know if I'm gonna be able to forgive you. Okay, so I don't know. I thought I I, I forgot. I mean, not forgot. I heard about the WWE thing. I thought you were talking about just him being in the locker room. <laughs> oh no, no, no! He was just in the locker room, just behind Coach Prime, just giving ad libs. Like <laughs> it was actually amazing. I was like, "Damn, the Rock is here!" Um, yeah, shout out to him for coming back. Is he gonna wrestle again? Like, I'm gonna pop up to a, if he wrestles. I'm there. I would assume. Well, here's the thing. Right now, a lot of a lot of wrestling Twitter is trying to like um, now that now that uh, WWE has finalized their deal with Endeavor uh, last week. That is now mm -hmm. in the books as far as stock market wise. So now uh, the WWE and the UFC are now you know one big happy family compared to how it was 30 years ago. Huge, huge, huge moment for uh, just sports entertainment, uh, combat fighting in general. Now that's all. Now that's all under one umbrella. He comes out Friday, huge, huge thing. And now people are wondering, okay, Rock looks pretty healthy, looks in good condition. Although he was a little bit winded, I must say, a little bit winded on the promo, a little bit winded on the movement. Those can get fixed by the time that April comes because WrestleMania 40 is going to be out in Philadelphia um, yeah. in April. So now people are trying to book, ah, when is Rock coming back? I think it's a little bit too early to have Rock in Saudi Arabia. They're about to be in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia in November uh, for uh, one of their um, uh, pay-per-views that are coming up. The Royal Rumble is in Tampa. It's a good chance that he can show up to Tampa. I'm not 100% positive. Uh, they're going to announce this week that there is a show that is going to be uh, like a huge show. It's going to be in Australia that is planned for like February or so. I don't know if he shows up in Australia for February, but then you have WrestleMania 40 in April, which a lot of fans are like, oh, he's going to wrestle Roman Reigns. And it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, nah. it's a little bit early for that just now, but who knows if he decides to hop into a ring, like I would have loved for him to do within the past two years. We could possibly see it. He's 50 years old, so I don't see him wrestling. I see him doing what Stone Cold did last year or the year before. You know, yeah. come out, give a stunner, give a rock bottom and, and bounce. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Would love to see it, though. Childhood dream immortalized.